Hi guys, this is Phil from FunnelTips.net. Just going to do a quick video today how to add an autoresponder or email account to Groove Pages and Groove Funnels. So just here now within the Groove Funnels dashboard, and we'll go into the Groove Pages, and I'll show you where the integration for these are. And it's all under integrations. So if you've got like Aweber, GetResponse, or integrations like Zapier, things like that, it's all under here. So we're in the dashboard area now of Groove Pages, and this is where you see your sites. And in this menu here at the top right if you click on there it's got my integrations and if you open that it show you what integrations you've already got and I've got MailChimp is my autoresponder at the moment and remember going forward then Groove Mail will be available later this year but at the minute you, you need an autoresponder so as part of your funnel you need to be maintaining your email lists you know in terms of managing email lists appropriately so in here you can see my integrations and if I want to add another one click on add and it'll show me the list of the types so this is integration type and you can see your active campaign Aweber campaign monitor web form get response go to webinar MailChimp Motic Perkzilla Product Dino and Zapier and then if you want to, want to add you just select it and and then normally you'll get a API or a URL that you need to enter. So we look at get response. So you can enter the description. And so you may have multiple types of account. So you can differentiate between those then, you know, in terms of which business that get response account is for. And then you have an API key. So generally most of the integrations work via an API key. So if we go to MailChimp. Add that in and then update it. And then you can see we've got two MailChimps now. And once you finish there, you just exit. And the other way you can do this, if we go into a site, so that's one area, and the other area is within the, the sites themselves. So within the sites in the top right corner, again, you've got the integration options in here. My integrations takes you back to the same place. So the next step then, once you've added the integration, is actually how you're using your landing page. If we go into this landing page, this landing page doesn't have an autoresponder because it's using buttons to take them to a pop-up to enter an autoresponder. So to add an email capture area to a page, you need an element or a block to be able to drop it into. So let's go into our elements and we need a container. So let's just drop a container down here. And this is the area then the, the email autoresponder form is gonna drop into. So let's scroll down. So they're down the bottom. So the integrations, similar to where they were in the integration menu, they're all listed here. So we got MailChimp. So if I drop that here, so if I drag this over, we need to drop it onto that container. And then when we select it, configuration options, you see here, it shows the MailChimp component. So this is important when you drop it onto the page. It's got a, an area you can drop it into. It's got to have its own container area. And then we're in there, then you can configure it. So you go into the configure options and then which integration you want. So we select the funnel tips one and then which lists. So within your autoresponder, you, you create different lists. But if you had multiple lists, they'd appear there in that list. And then thank you, redirect you could say where they're going to go. So you can send them to, you can say none, you can take them to a page, you can take them to a block or URL. So it could be that your autoresponder will give you a thank you page URL. You, you can create a thank you page URL within it and you could send them there or you could send them to a pop-up that you can create. So let's select the page. So we've got a thank you page within this site. It's in here, we've got a second page, thank you page. So we'll send them to the thank you page. So we select that update so that's the configuration of the email list and then within the design if we look here then we get the email options so if we click on those options you can configure that and then you say what's the email do you need to add validation rules that the input can be empty I generally select that one and then place all the text There you go and then update so you can see now the text has changed and the subscribe option and then we just click save so i'll share a link down below guys if you want to sign up and get groove pages and groove cell for free no credit card required just enter your email and password and you can get lifetime access to these i'll also share a link down below for Mike Phil Sames webinar. So Mike's the product creator of Groove Funnels, and in that webinar, then he'll go through all the launch and product release details for all the apps that are going to become part of the future release of Groove Funnels. So I'll link to that also below, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon on the channel.